Northwest Profiles, presented by CarStar. Cars are more than just metal. They're our friend and our best friend's best friend. When something happens to them, you can depend on CarStar for collision, glass, and auto care. CarStar, where accidents unhappen. I just wanted to let folks know K Root is on it. We're definitely in the middle of this thing and it's big and we are the radio station that lives here. We're here for you here on the Root 97.5. July of 2014, a devastating fire, the worst recorded in Washington state history, known as the Carlton Complex Fire. It consumes, after all is said and done, over 250,000 acres including approximately 300 central Washington homes. In the Metow Valley, keeping people informed during the tragedy, sitting in the KTRT radio studio was Deputy Don Ashford. The first year when Carlton Complex started, it was a typical lightning started fire. We were getting a lot of smoke and then one Thursday evening, it just raced across things. And the radio at that point in time came into its own in a way that I couldn't have imagined. Even though I had wanted to make it a community asset, even though I had wanted to hearken back to these older ideals of serving your community, I had no idea what that would be like. I mean, I brought a bed. I didn't leave the studio for many days. I had lots of people bringing me food. I mean, it was, it was so, if it wasn't so scary, it was full of heartwarming. You know, there's no right-wing, left-wing party affiliations. It all melts down. Where actually some people are fighting for their lives or trying to save their animals. And, you know, parking lots of the grocery stores became these huge sort of, oh, I don't know, sharing groups. And so the radio became a, a little bit of a, a fountain of, okay, we're in this, but we're going to make it. You could say that Don Ashford is an optimist and also an artistic vagabond of sorts. Born and raised in Spokane with an eye on a career in architecture, he quickly noticed his skills in art. I was a young guy, probably 20, and I wanted to be master something. And so I saw the world of clay as something I wanted to get into. Having run the gamut of being a clay artist and a gold miner, a horse trainer, and a husband and father in Southern Oregon in the span of four years, Don heard the siren call to return to his roots and in 1984 resumed his passion for pottery in central Washington's Metow Valley. I started missing making pottery back then and I thought, and I'm also missing Washington State. I had ne actually never even been to the Metow. My wife had scoped it out. She said, yeah, it looks really nice. We'll, we'll give it a shot. It was perfect, you know, the, our, our idea was we would let the, the pottery buyers come to us. After covering for a local radio personality and eventually being hired to work at KVLR Radio in Winthrop as an announcer and music director, Don eventually left his job and with the help of his young son Dove, pursued something that was looming large on his horizon. Kind of the one really curveballs that got pitched to us then is Dove uh, was diagnosed with uh, AML leukemia and we ended up again spending a lot of time in Spokane uh, going to Deaconess Hospital then to uh, Fred Hutch Cancer Research in Seattle as he went into a bone marrow transplant and it did it extended his life for about 20 years so we got to have a wonderful 20 years with him but it kind of put a lot of things on hold. My son, Dove, he was real sharp. He, he had a lot of skills uh, with computers and so on. He goes, Dad, we can start a radio station. And I go, really? And he, go, he goes, yeah, yeah, I've looked it up. And I go, well, you get, all, you get everything lined up and I'll see if I can get a couple of grown-ups involved. I don't want to do this by myself. And so he did. After going through a long six-year wait for the frequency allocation and a two-week-long auction, 
Don managed to line up financing to make the endeavor happen at KTRT's first home in Winthrop in 2006. The radio station did become more than just um, probably what had started out as a hobby. It became more than that for me when, of course, when Dove um, helped me get the radio going, one of the things I saw it as was something that he and I could do because he was so health compromised. And he's, you know, he's probably 13 or 14. He helped basically put the studio together. Here we were, I realized we had become something more along the lines of community radio. So I've always been aware that without my friends, without this community, we're not here. So it, it's, it's put a different spin on us from the very start. And, and I love that because it's, it, it becomes our mission statement, our vision statement. We just serve. In the late summer of 2014, KTRT made the move to Twisp Works, an old ranger station in the town of Twisp, and in the process, updated its signal path to McClure Mountain with a direct microwave path to the transmitter that beams the route's program material to the Meta. I, I don't know if the camera has seen the tattoos on my hands, but his middle name was Bear. A lot of times I feel like I'm in deeper water than I want to be. And I really just want these kind of in front of me to remind me of my kid who went through so much deep water that he didn't want to be in. And it's just like, okay, pull up your drawers and get on with it. And it's a reminder. And, and truthfully, in my mind, Dove lives every day in this radio. And, and I know that he wanted it to be a community asset. So when I get wimpy about things, I, I bear up. You know, something I say every day at the end of every arts and events calendar is keep living strong keep loving music remember we're all in this together we're all in this together and there's something very um, unifying ab about keeping that at the forefront that we need one another and i've sort of over time discovered how radio can maybe augment that so i just feel like the original fcc mandate of serving your community I don't need to go any further than that. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.